Some genius created an augmented reality app that turns vacuuming into a game where you can earn coins. Yep, just like Mario, but with a VR headset that makes you look cool. How does it work? These magical glasses use something called stereoscopy. It's just a fancy word for tricking your brain into seeing 3D stuff. How? It shows two slightly different pictures for each eye. Your brain puts two and two together and goes like, whoa, that's some depth. But how do images appear in front of you? Well, these headsets are hooked up to a computer that creates and runs the whole simulation. They've also got motion sensors that basically stalk your every nod, twist, and turn. It's like your head's doing a synchronized dance with the screen. And no matter which way you turn, you're still getting hit with that annoying message. Subscribe to our channel and like this video, please. So headsets, they have to be super fast too, showing you like 90 pics every second just to make virtual worlds seem legit. And if you're watching it from the outside, realism looks like this. Yep, it's still very embarrassing to be seen in public with an Apple Vision Pro. And I love saying that as if I actually had the money to buy it. But Apple totally deserves a pat on the back for creating the first glasses-like device that mixes augmented reality and virtual reality, or as they call it, spatial computing, whatever that means. To connect your phone to your glasses, you put them close together and use something called Quick Start. That's what the instructions say. What the manual doesn't explain is the black magic behind it. It's all about light. No, not sunshine. It's more like a super secret light that's located on the electromagnetic spectrum. It's totally invisible to us mere mortals. Inside this spectrum, there are the radio waves. Two things you need to know about it. They're long, so they can slide through walls like it's no biggie. And they're used by Bluetooth. Imagine Bluetooth as a busy bee that flies quickly between 79 different flowers, the channels. And these bees carry the sweet nectar the information. This busy bee zips around 1,600 times every second in a seemingly random pattern over the flower field. This quick movement is how Bluetooth devices avoid bumping into other electronic devices that use the same frequency band, which is, by the way, 2.4 gigahertz, the same as Wi-Fi routers, smartphones, and even your neighbor's extremely loud radio. Why doesn't everything get mixed up? Because each pair of Bluetooth devices are in a secret dance. They know exactly when and where to meet on those 79 channels. But what if you're surrounded by 300 other folks, all wearing Apple Vision Pro glasses? First off, that sounds creepy. But still, they can't access your nectar. I mean, your info. That's because of pairing. Your Apple Vision Pro sees your iPhone and says, I want to be with you. Your iPhone agrees. Then Bluetooth creates a key to their connection. Your device uses this key and they're locked. No one else can see this key because, for all the other Apple Vision Pro glasses around, this key is encrypted. So they just ignore it. The whole point is, Bluetooth, just like Wi-Fi, works on radio waves. So you might want to rethink those plans to go scuba diving with an Apple Vision Pro. Turns out, radio waves hate water. Imagine you're at this wild pool party and Drake's music starts playing. You take a dip. While underwater, his voice will sound all muffled and distorted, right? The same goes for the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection underwater. At some point, it fails. That can change, though. Messaging underwater is already a thing. Instead of using radio waves, this tech transmits messages via acoustic signals. In other words, through sounds. And sound waves love water. For now, this underwater network only works with an app. People can use their smartphone microphone to choose from 240 preset messages, all designed for professional divers. So, sorry, you still can't swipe on your Tinder while scuba diving, especially while wearing your Apple Vision Pro. Even though it looks like a snorkel mask from the future, it's definitely not designed to be water resistant. Let's talk design. Have you watched Sherlock? At one point, the detective thought the villain had these special computer glasses. But come on, look at those thin, lame lenses. We all know VR and AR headsets are far from passing for regular glasses. That's because we see images through built-in displays. So it's like having two micro OLED TVs right in front of your eyes and expecting it to look like Harry Potter glasses. Trust me, it won't. But Metaform can save us. Nope, it's not a Pokemon. It's actually a tech that can make those headsets lighter by working like microscopic antennas. Light passes through the glasses. These tiny antennas pick up the signal and bam, your eyes receive it. While scientists are still trying to figure that out, we need to make peace with Apple Vision Pro. The problem is that things can get weird real quick. Like when you FaceTime someone. What the other person sees is an avatar, an AI face that's supposed to look and move just like you. 
but right now, it's just strange. That's because of a thing called the Uncanny Valley. So people are totally fine with seeing super unrealistic digital characters. But when they get a bit too realistic, it's like, whoa, wait, what the heck is that? We can't stand avatars that look almost real, but not quite. Feels bizarre. So if you decide to FaceTime with your mom while wearing the Apple Vision Pro, she'll probably be really confused. Or worse, scared. <laughs>